For a long time, I too thought that Etruscan might have formed the clue we were looking for. But during the last few weeks, I've suddenly come to the conclusion that the Knossos and Pylos tablets must, after all, be written in Greek, a difficult and archaic Greek, seeing that it's 500 years older than Homer, and written in a rather abbreviated form, but Greek nevertheless. Once I made this assumption, most of the peculiarities of the language and spelling which had puzzled me seemed to find a logical explanation. And although many of the tablets remain as incomprehensible as before, many others are suddenly beginning to make sense. As we expected, they seem to contain nothing of any literary value, but merely record the prosaic and often trivial details of the palace administration. We have lists of men and women, for instance, where each name has the person's trade next to it, and we rediscover familiar Greek words like poimen, shepherd, kerameos, potter, kalkeos, bronzesmith, chrysogorgos, goldsmith. Some of the persons have longer descriptions, like so-and-so, a goat herd watching over the quadrupeds belonging to so-and-so, or three waitresses whose mother was a slave and whose father was a smith, or stonemasons for building operations. Other tablets are lists of commodities, such as wheels, so many of elm, so many of metal, so many with metal bindings, and so many of willow. Most of the phrases are quite short. The longest sentence I can find has 11 words, and occurs on a tablet from Pylos, which seems to be an assessment for tithes, somewhat as follows. The priestess holds the following acres of productive land on a lease from the property owners, and undertakes to maintain them in the future. The Pylos tablets look like being Greek throughout, which is only what one would expect from their date and location. But even if it turns out that only the main phrasing of the Knossos tablets is in Greek, and that this is interspersed with names and words of some indigenous language, we shall still be forced to revise our conception of the history of this period. The last palace of Knossos has all the appearance of being part of the native island culture. But, if my suggestion is right, the Greeks must, in fact, have arrived in Crete at its building, and not merely been its destroyers, and it must have been they who devised the new linear script B for their own purposes. If this is so, there's a case for calling the tablets which Myers and Bennett have published Mycenaean and not Minoan in a strict sense at all. I've suggested that there's now a better chance of reading these earliest European inscriptions than ever before, but there's evidently a great deal more work to do before we are all agreed on the solution to the problem.